Here's a really fun scroll saw project you can make for next to nothing. But yet the end result is quite impressive. Using this concept you can design your own maze simply by sketching out a pattern yourself on a piece of board. If I put back in the maze section that I just cut out you can see more clearly which is maze and which is left as wood. I've got four animals, one in each corner of the circle, that are later going to be um, attached to a piece of rope. Of course they don't have to be animals, they could just be geometric shapes or freehand shapes. The whole trick to designing your own puzzle is to create a tree shape for each puzzle piece that you're going to use. You can see here that there's one tree for the wombat and another tree for the kookaburra. Each tree is attached to the outside of the circle. Using this method you end up with an intricate pattern that doesn't fall out. Just ensure you use ply for this project as it needs the extra strength. Remember little hands are going to be handling this. Now I've attached my piece of rope to each animal. OK, let's have a play. I put my wombat in and then move the rope round the maze and find the koala and put him through. It's always a bit of a challenge trying to do this while keeping the mitts away from the camera. And then the kookaburra. Alrighty. And lastly, the echidna. You can decide which animal goes where on the rope. It really doesn't matter. And with the echidna in place, the puzzle's finished. But wait, there's more. You can turn the puzzle over and start from the other end of the rope. And now I'm going to start with the echidna and do the puzzle all over again. You can also do each of these sides by moving the animal from the bottom to the top rather than the top to the bottom. This seems like a pretty easy puzzle and it is with your eyes open but you're meant to do it with your eyes closed. It's much more of a challenge then.